the Great Pyramid of Giza. Towering over the sands of Egypt for more than 4,500 years, it stands as the last surviving wonder of the ancient world. This colossal monument isn't just impressive for its size, its construction is so precise that it remains one of the most accurately built structures on Earth. With its orientation only three feet, six inches off true north. How could an ancient civilization, without modern tools, achieve such accuracy? When completed, the pyramid rose to a stunning 146.7 meters, making it the tallest man-made structure in the world for more than 3,800 years. Even today, standing at 138.8 meters without its summit, it remains awe-inspiring. The sheer volume of the structure is staggering. Over 2.3 million blocks of stone, weighing a total of 6.5 million tons, were used to build it. And here's something curious. There are no written records that describe its construction. Despite the ancient Egyptians being meticulous record keepers, not a single document details how this massive monument was built. Egyptologists believe it was commissioned by Pharaoh Khufu, but there's little conclusive evidence to back this up. Why the silence? What's even more curious is that the Great Pyramid is the only known pyramid in Egypt to contain both ascending and descending passages. Why? Could there be more to the structure's purpose than just a tomb? As for the stone itself, it's said the Great Pyramid contains more stone than all the churches, cathedrals, and chapels built in England since the time of Christ. Over 2.3 million blocks of limestone, granite, and mortar went into its construction, with some blocks transported from Aswan, 800 kilometers away. How the ancient Egyptians managed to transport and lift these massive stones, especially without the wheel or pulley, remains an archaeological enigma. Then there are the casing stones. The Great Pyramid was once covered in 144,000 casing stones, each with an almost perfect flatness, measured to within one one-hundredth of an inch. Imagine the precision that required. Today, only a few casing stones remain but it's believed that once the pyramid would have gleamed in the sunlight, a radiant beacon in the desert. Some scholars suggest that such precision may have held symbolic or religious significance, but could there be a deeper purpose? The pyramid's design shows an astounding understanding of mathematical concepts. For instance, the perimeter to height ratio of the pyramid aligns closely with the value of pi, a concept that, supposedly, wasn't fully understood until much later. There's even evidence that the pyramid may have concentrated electromagnetic energy within its chambers, a phenomenon that scientists from Russia and Germany recently discovered. Was this an accidental feature, or could the ancient Egyptians have known about and even harnessed this energy? And here's another mystery. The pyramid is not actually a perfect four-sided structure. It has eight sides, with each side very subtly concave. This unique characteristic, discovered by accident in 1940 by a pilot, is so slight it's only visible from the air during the equinoxes when shadows reveal the indentation. But why did the builders add this feature? Even after centuries of study, the Great Pyramid continues to puzzle and amaze. Was it merely a tomb, or did it serve a higher, possibly cosmic, purpose? Some suggest it could have been an astronomical observatory, a power center, or even a way to connect with the divine. In the end, the Great Pyramid of Giza is more than just a monument. It's a reminder that there is so much we don't yet understand about our ancient past. And as we continue to uncover its secrets, we're left to wonder, did the ancient Egyptians know something that we've forgotten? Perhaps, within these stones, lies the answer.